when a bird lands on the flight deck, it's time for a few unsung heroes to shine. You wouldn't believe it, but the sailors responsible for keeping our aircraft in the air are some of the most junior on board. I got here two days before we deployed, so fairly new. <laughs> got here about four days before we took off. It's up to this gang of purple shirts to top off the tanks of any and all aircraft on the flight deck. And, uh, we'll run the hose out and uh, got to ground it first. Um, and then hook up to the bird, get the information from the PC once again. And it takes different, a couple different people to fuel the birds. So without teamwork, you don't really get anywhere on the flight deck. It seems busy, but really it goes by smooth. Fueling up aircraft may be their primary concern, but in an emergency situation, ABFs on the flight deck are required to lift more than just a hose. Up on three, one, two, three, up. Our other key point in V4 is stretcher bearing. We train hard for that. And it's pretty much got to be four to a basket, and um, there'll be one leader on it. And that leader will tell you when to reach down and pick up the basket, um, when to set it down. And even though Crew 2 has a tremendous responsibility, it's simply one gear turning in the machine we call the flight deck. We're a, just a piece of, um, I guess, the big puzzle up there. That... No matter how trained or experienced the sailor is on the flight deck, when working with a crew, there's only one thing that matters, trust. Oh, I know I can trust them. Like, on a scale of 10, it's definitely a 10. It's, we have a great crew. From USS Carl Vinson, I'm Seaman Matthew Harron.